Hey everybody, hey, I want to talk to you today about laying workers in a beehive. What's it mean when the workers start laying the eggs? Well, you'd never think it today, but actually they are predicting a snowstorm coming in to uh, Illinois. And as a result, uh, all of us are getting ready for a uh, big snow. So I'm getting my bobcat ready. And I got my snow plow on, which means Sherry has gone to the grocery store because Sherry and all people in Illinois know that if a snow is coming, you have to go to the store and you have to buy bread and you usually have to buy milk. You have to buy those two things. So it's not uncommon to go to the grocery store when they are saying snow is coming and find all the bread's gone and all the milk is gone. But the funny thing is, you know, after, after it snows, you know, there's everybody has all this bread and all this milk that they didn't use, and it's like, well, that was silly to go and do that. But I guess, I guess we feel like if we get snowed in, that <laughs> we can all sit around and eat bread and drink milk, and so that's just some tradition that you have to do is milk and bread. I love this bobcat. It's just, it's not a very big one, so I can drive it into our buildings. I can carry pallets into buildings. You know, it, it, it holds about 800 to 1,000 pound pallets, so it's really a lot stronger than it looks. I got the fully enclosed cab so that when I start plowing snow, which I, I did last year, uh, you know, you stay warm. I got the heater in there and fully surround uh, glass, cage so wipers can't you can't really plow snow without a wiper on your front windshield and I can put it in here and so when I'm ready after it snows as you can tell it's ready to go right out the door no matter how big the snow piles up I can just boom right out the door oh wow <laughs> I can't hold my eyes open it's snowing here Today, we have had to close our business because of the winter conditions of a blizzard today. And as you can see, I'm just getting, I, I can't even keep my eyes open. Look at my shirt, I'm getting plastered. So this is Illinois, blizzard, blizzard, blizzard. I don't know if you live where it snows a lot, but if you have never experienced that, it is a hoot. And I'm going back inside. I can't take this anymore. I wish I could describe to you what it's like today to be in Illinois on a very windy, snowy day. It's kind of fun because uh, we're, we're just blown in. It's a blizzard condition. They're advising us not to travel, not to go anywhere almost zero visibility and uh, the power is on right now but it's been going off and on and off and on it was off a long time now it's back on so if you see the power go off while I'm filming then uh, we'll just have to bludgeon our way through it but today I want to talk to you about some issues that I hear people bring up about laying workers and that means that the queen is no longer in the colony and workers have started laying eggs. Workers do not normally uh, lay eggs. They can, they can lay eggs, but they're not as developed or as complex, of course, as the queen is. Uh, workers have no way to be fertilized, so when a worker does lay an egg, it's gonna be an unfertilized egg, which becomes a drone, you're right, the male bee. But there are times when workers do start laying eggs. But let me first tell you how it's supposed to really go. First, since there's a queen present, that means a mated queen is laying eggs in the colony, all the other bees sort of give up their right 
to lay eggs because of pheromones. Pheromones from the queen is reducing or clamping down the uh, worker bees from being able to lay eggs. And also the pheromones from the brood uh, causes the clamping down of the workers not to be able to lay certainly not much in the way of eggs. I would say probably occasionally, even in a, a hive with a strong queen, it's possible that there would be some eggs being laid by workers, but they, I think they'd be quickly eaten up and by other bees. But So what happens when you get a laying worker? What happens is your queen has been gone for probably three weeks. That means that there has been no brood being laid in the colony for three weeks. And so you don't have that suppression on the laying workers anymore. The pheromone is not clamping down the laying workers' ability from laying eggs. And so you have worker bees, female worker bees that have not, you know, they're not capable of being fertilized. They're, they're going to start laying and they're going to lay eggs that are only going to develop into drones. Now, a worker bee does not make a very good queen. She's smaller. She can't push her abdomen all the way down to the base of the cell of a regular size cell. So laying worker eggs can be noticed because there's going to be a lot of eggs in the base of the cells and sometimes they're not even at the base. They're going to be along the wall because of the short abdomen of the worker bees. So a lot of people will assess their hive to see if they have a laying worker and the first thing you want to look for, do I have a queen? If I do, uh, I could still have laying workers, but that's going to go away really quickly if it's a brand new queen. Uh, do, so do I have a queen? Do I have brood? Whether you have open brood or sealed brood, that pheromone is enough to keep laying workers from going crazy laying eggs everywhere in your colony. Okay, normally I, a I answer questions on Friday, but I got, this, I got this letter today in the mail and it says priority. So anything that's a priority mail envelope, it, it deserves, you know, priority. So what we'll do is open this up and uh, find out what is so urgent. What is a priority? What, what's going on? Uh-oh, it's all stuck. There we go. Oops, photo inside. Okay, hi David and Sherry. These bees are from a tree that Jan and I captured today. Loggers called me. I think it looks like a laying worker from close up. I sent on email info. Sorry for the bother, but could you let me know your thoughts and where to go from here? Thanks. James from Tennessee. All right. Sent a photo. Wants to know if this is laying workers. No. Next question. <laughs> wow. Um... Interesting. I always like looking at people's photos and evaluating what I see, you know, because you don't have to worry about getting stung. Not, this photograph can't sting you. And he's really done a good job uh, taking this picture. I'm going to show it to you in just a minute, okay? So don't, don't go like, hey, let us see, let us see, let us see. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to put my glasses on um, so I can look up closer at some of these uh, cells that are in this photo, and then I want to show it to you. Okay, yep, 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 bum, 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 laying worker. Oh, interesting. Do I think that's a laying worker? Absolutely not. I do not think it's a laying worker, and I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, here's why. Let me, uh, let me bring this closer to you. Okay, so let me point out a few things how I know it's not a laying worker. First, look at the brood over here. It's all worker brood. The pheromones have not been gone that long because 
these are capped over and as you can see some of these haven't been capped over very long because these are seven eight day old larva or yeah larva this is a pupa okay now I see why James is saying this if you look right here at my finger you can see an egg there on the wall it looks like two eggs here and two eggs there uh, so he's seeing these multiple eggs and that's why he thinks it's a laying worker it could be there's a percentage you know a small chance that okay maybe it is but I don't think so because we have open brood pheromone we have cat brood that the queen the queen was here eight days ago and remember you need 21 days without a queen before you get work laying workers look at this there's a oh, maybe three day old lar or one day old larva and it's perfectly in the center perfectly in the center that's what queens do perfectly in the center 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 so what I think when I see this this is a new queen usually in my case I raise queens and these new queens will sometimes go back over or just be laying kind of everywhere kind of crazy sometimes I've seen queens walk around with um, eggs hanging out of their abdomen I'm coming back around so um, the eggs aren't always positioned exactly the way you think they would be so no not a laying worker brood is too young the hive has not been queenless long enough. Okay, thank you, Jim. That, that, uh, that was cool. We got some cool pictures to hang up on the wall here. If you have some pictures you'd like to send us, uh, feel free to do that and we'll diagnose your hive and we will probably be 20% accurate in making a successful diagnosis with a photograph because who the heck really knows unless you get into a hive, right? Disclaimer noted <laughs> okay hey subscribe i need 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year that means we need to add quite a few more we're just about 5,200 and something so thank you for subscribing and uh, you can subscribe below you can comment below and we'll have a good time uh, check us out on our website at honeybeesonline.com back of the shirt tells it all honeybeesonline.com and you can check out all other cool videos that we have we have beekeeping newsletters about neat discoveries that we send out hey thanks for getting associated with honeybeesonline.com learn more we want to help you get started in keeping honeybees we'll try to get some footage all right selfie stick there it is. Way over here.